He swings on the left boot. Up towards Gary Ablett on centre wing. Takes it on the bounce beautifully. Good hands. McGrath hot on his hammer. Uh, Dowsley, Corey, close to the boundary line. Kudafiti supplies the pressure. No 15. Was it just the down by Ablett with beautiful body positioning? Takes the mark. Will line up inside 50 on a tight angle. Yeah, they just body. They just haven't kicked a goal yet, but at the moment they're doing it half on the bit here, the Cats. This a, yeah, this is a, he's Scotland, I mean, you've got to be out, he's right with him right there, you've got to be able to get a fist on that, I guess not a natural defender. Contested marks have been the forte for the Cats this year, the most of any side, there's another one for them, and Ablett lines it up and slots it to the line, I think it was touched on there, or did he get it? Full marks, he gets the goal, just, but good enough. Yeah, Doom, I would describe it as an inoffensive opening to a game. History tonight. Wiggins upended. In trouble, Bartell to Ablett. Got the arms free. Well played. Falling to the ground, Milburn. Dug it out. This is with some area to operate. Enright over the top into the path of Ablett. Johnson holding his progress. Released initially. Now he pops it down to the pocket. The mark is taken by Steve Johnson. All a bit too easy there for Geelong. No congestion back in the middle. Milburn. Ample time to release it. Further example of the pressure that this 16th ranked defence is under. Oh. That's just unforgivable. Adelaide's got it now. You just got to ask the question. This bloke, he's not like you don't know who he is. He's dangerous. Okay, fine, he attracts the footy. Here, okay? he, he was a bloke who kicked it to Johnson in the first place and was given 30 seconds to wander into a hole with no one on it. Those kick-ins you mentioned, guys, five of them by Hunt. Three have gone inside 50 at the other end, and the other two have gone to the wing at least. Brad Ottens has got two goals. Nice hit. Gary Ablett has two as well. Great start now by the Cats. Well, do what I'm going to do. I'm going to hand, a handball out to Enright. Good play on the volley. Picked up by Ablett, magnificent stuff, cruising past. Right there, Milburn gave it to Corey, to Ablett over the top. Missed by Burns, who was spectacular in the second half last week. He breaks, he's got genuine speed into the path of Johnson. Not so quick, but clever. Gets by a would-be tackler, goes inside the 50, Kingsley. He is a star, Stephen Johnson. He is a star, and so is that bloke. He started the game absolutely. Some read it beautifully. Got five well metres on his opponent, and Gary Abbott was 15 metres away and runs in for goal number three in the first term. And this is oh, this guy on too. the side. They are shell shocked from last week. The handball working. Johnson pushed off the ball off the ground. Goes Gardner. A chance now for the Cats. In goes Gary Abbott. He wants his third. Gets the kick away just in time and gets the result. Three goals to Gary Ablett. Well, you can put that one down to Brad Ottens. If you hear about clearing a path for the little man, just watch the little sideways shove by Brad Ottens here. Once the ball goes, I mean, good pressure. Now, watch the contact here. Just moves Lance Whitnell out of the way, and that is legitimately opening a path for your smaller man to run onto it. Well done, Brad Ottens. Any one of them, uh, three Geelong players could have gathered. Next towards half forward, Ablett is out now, but expect the unexpected. Somehow he got through, Ablett goes short, that's wonderful. Wonderful, it's in the genes we know, but how about that? King's got the football. I was singing his praises at the last set of bounds. What's Lance Whittle doing here? Oh dear, bro. He this got young, a bit of a leg break. This young man had huge boots to fill. They're in the family cupboards, and he's filling them adequately. King comes in, gets his with their valiant last charge. I mean, we could see a record here tonight from night footy. A record from Gary Ablett on his own here. Look at that. Take your head off to them, because they were horrible. Mooney got it to Enright, to Ablett, easily. As he looks at it, going across the face. Short on. Not as... Plenty of options for him in the end. Now, Gary Ablett has got it. Three goals, one for the night for Gary. Marks inside 50, 22 to Geelong, 11 to Carlton, 12 individuals for Geelong and three only for Carlton. So they get back in numbers and plenty of options for the Geelong forward line. Reverse angle shot for Gary Ablett from 50. Great kick. And it's cleared the line. He's got there and four to Gary Ablett. Well, some good hard.
Hard running through the mid. Stevens, still Stevens. Oh, he's in trouble, gets a hand pass away, holding the ball. Well, he did take on a couple. The tackle had got him. Didn't stay fixed for long, but that's all it needed. Quickly, the ball has moved on, getting back with courage down there. Johnson picked up by Burns, gets a goal. It was all happening. Burns get that. Get a step. Goes down towards half court. That's worth two. Ablett's in front. Gathers it nicely. Wheels around. Goes to Corey. Possibly the best on the ground, Joel Corey. Out to Kelly. Inside the 15. It'll take a good kick. And he was pushed as he did kick. And it goes out of bounds on the full. But Paul Kudafit is trying his heart out. Thornton got it from Wiggins. Taken by Houlihan. Jimmy got a hand in there. Now Ablett falling to the ground. Feeds it oh, back. Ron Fred right. Look at this. Burley's taken the ball. Hands to it, couldn't hang on. Bartell was taken down. Got it again. Charging in there, Burley. We like him. Ablett, 45 metres out, snaps a goal. He's called it back, is he? He's giving a free kick. He's going through for a point. I look like I'm an idiot, OK? It's too high. What's your first guess? What's the advantage? If it goes through, I'll pop. Runs out of defence. Out they come, Gardner, Ablett. It was Ablett, it was intended for it. Gardner, but Edward's got it anyway, and look at this, there's Katz lining up again in that corridor. Well, yeah, Enright's got it in the end. Well, you called it, they're a hard-running team, they haven't been, oh, have they? I mean, they finish off the games, so I don't think they've lost any final quarters this year, have they? Maybe no, no, one at the most? Well, Doom, as I said, the past month, they've outscored their opponents by an average of 20 points in the final quarter. Well, once they put a team away... In the Crows in Amy Stadium. Uh, what would be easy? That's the question. Uh, and it's the last one at their home ground, too.